Oh boy. Welcome back to another Joypad video with me, Mike, aka Dinosaur, starting a new game today. The of there it is. Not there. Nope, there. There. There it is. So excited to play this game. So this is <laughs> The Misadventures of Tron Bon. 99. Man. Um. I might have bought the game in 99, when I say I might have bought, I mean my mother bought it for me. I had a hard time convincing her to buy, <coughs> to buy it. It was 40 bucks, which was pretty pretty rough back then. Oh, no. Oh, well, I'll let, I'll let this run. Um, it had a demo disc for Mega Man Legends 2, which I was super excited about. So, what do you all think of a our new ship, huh? How's she holding up? Oh, sisters, Jack. Oh, sir, boss. They're basically Lego like people. You did another excellent job. Thanks, Tron. I'm always impressed at how you're able to build such neat toys. Look, like, the game's almost fully toy. voice acted. I mean, Back in 1999. Which let us finish the job a lot faster than it would have taken. I know we spent a lot of money on this ship, which means we're going to have to work hard to get it back. So the fun part of this game. That's why I've got something really big planned for it's us It's prequel time. to Mega Man Legends, which is one of my favorite games. The legendary treasure of the Nakai Desert, Diana's Tear. What? But that's supposed to be one of the biggest refractors in the world. I can just skip it? the rest of this intro. So yeah, this is the Misadventures of Tron Bot. I haven't played this in probably over 10 years, maybe even closer to 15. So excited to play this game. The plan is I'll play this and then um play Mega Man Legends 1 and then Mega Man Legends 2. And we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, man. Oh, it's been so long since I've played this. And this is a hard to find game. Now, I actually have a disc for this game. Look at that lens flare. Oof! Lens flare everywhere! I love the server bots. And you know. <coughs> the server bots have become like a huge mascot for Capcom, even though they haven't made. A Mega Man Legends game in forever. I knew it was too good to be true. I mean, it's supposed to be a legendary treasure. It's not going to be found that easily. I'll get that junk store owner if it's the last thing I ever do. Where the heck are those ruins anyway? So Teasel's actually inside that big old robot. This is the Gustav Bon Bon. Can you the hear Gustav. me? Over. Babu. Mm, there's nothing here but sand. Well, it is you a desert. Found anything? Over. Babu. 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 What? A giant doorway? That's <gasps> it. That has to be the entrance we're looking for. <laughs> I knew you could do it, Bon Bon. Now we're in business. What's your heading? North? All right. Stand by. I'm on my way. All right, boys. Let's go. Yay! Yay! All right. Oh, good. My controller is not working. Cool. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Sorry. I don't know what was wrong with my controller there. Okay. So I could shoot. Uh, what the heck was that? Oh, tutorial. Hey, Tron. What was that I just fired? 
a homing missile? Oh, a beacon bomb. If you hold the R2 button down, you'll see a target appear. Use the directional button to move the target to where you want the surf box to go. And press the fire button. That will launch a beacon bomb, which will tell them where to go. Nice. Oh, I see. <laughs> Clever. So, L2 is actually how you lock on. Hmm. Which way is it? It's gotta be to the Let's right. See. Drawn said to use the L1 and R1. So, this, like, sort of in-game explanation where they're telling you what buttons to use, oddly enough, it works because Teasel's controlling a robot, so I don't have a problem with the whole, like, these are the buttons you use. Delio. Reverbot. Whoa! It's a Reverbot. One of the robots that guard the old room. So, like, it's a Spike tutorial, but it's in universe. So, I kind of really that like it. Means using the square button to fire. If I press the L2 button, the Gustav's weapons will auto lock onto the target. All right. Do it, boys. So by firing the beacon bomb, I can launch my serve bots at the enemy, which, you know, whatever. They help fight. Right now, they're really weak. I'm recording during the day, if you can't tell. The window is right above my webcam and monitor, so if I do this, I look normal. If I move my hand, yeah. Alright, boys. Get in there. Find me some stuff. Heck yeah. You see here. Maybe if I fire a beacon bomb, it'll bust it. This crack. Maybe if you hit it with something, it will open wider. Can I pick stuff up yet? So you can pick stuff up in this game. I see a chunk over there. Anything down there? Oh, okay. So if I come over here, see I can grab this chunk, and then I can come back over here. And this doesn't always work, but this is like pretty early in the game, so I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. And I can. Ah! I don't know why it explodes. That doesn't make sense. So I'm throwing a piece of column at rock, so it shouldn't explode, but I'll take it. So the idea is I just want to collect as much treasure and money as possible. So I'm going to do that. Let me grab another chunk. You can also throw chunks of stuff at enemies. There's some rocks blocking the road. What was it Tron said? Use the triangle. Use the triangle button to pick things up. Yeah, check it. You can also throw these items at enemies, which cause a hefty chunk of damage. Which is nice. It's like a nice little thing you can do. For example, the Reverbot. Do that. I'm using the wrong button, I'm not using the controls yet. Now, a lot of times, enemy reaver bots will drop items, but, um, we're still kind of in the tutorial, so... So you can see... God, it's like a hot protein hunger force, everything explodes. Come on, boys. What do we got? There's something about the serve bots that's just so adorable and endearing. Oh boy. Ow. I keep wanting to use R2 to log on. It's L2. Gotta get used to that. 
Alright, there's the big old door Vaughn was talking about. Let's get into it. Oh, he's just pacing. So, I, I never really got what's going on with Bon Bon. I don't know if he's a... I guess he's just a robot little brother that they made. I don't know for certain. That must be it! Must be it. This is the Gustav. Come in, Gesselschaft. Gesselschaft here! Ooh. What the heck? <laughs> I'm in front of the sub gate. I'm going to go in. Oh, Tell yeah. John not to worry. Over. Diesel, is everything okay? How's this Why wouldn't it be? Holding up? That you, Tron? <laughs> Everything's fine. The Gustav's doing great. I don't know who the voice actor is for Teasel, but I love him. You made it. Don't worry about a thing. We'll be home with the treasure before you. Huh? 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 That? I knew that was coming. Oh. Did you just destroy Bond? Yep. Huh? Huh? That's his name, it's Wide. Me. I remember it. I work for Mr. Lowe. Remember? I'm sure you know why I've come all this way to find you. Don't you fear? He's come to collect a debt. I can get the money I borrowed from Lowe back real soon. Once this job's over, I'll have your money. Honest. I'm afraid too late. It's too late. The huh. is I'm calling back. those story beats, man. Give it back. All of it. Now. Time to pay the piper. Squawk! So those are bird bots. They're the, the evil version of serve bots in this game. Silence. Don't you understand? Your time is up. You leave me no choice but to exercise our option. That big body of yours is mine now. That big Come body on. of yours? That's weird. It's like what some weird on? sexual tension going on here. I've run into a little trouble there, Tron. Don't worry though, I'll be back soon. Boy, your aim is terrible. When I'm not controlling you. You're not exactly my type, but if you want to play around a little, I'm good. Wow. So I was really young when I played this game, and I didn't realize how, like, sexual some of the, uh, on, or the dialogue is. Jeez. So I don't know what this enemy is called. Get him, boys. Oh, my poor serve bot. Ah! So the controls are very clunky for being in, or, you know, an early era PS1 game. Like, I'm trying to use the right analog stick to control the camera, but you control the camera using the L1 and R1 buttons. There's no changing the level. Like, you can't change the camera angle, you can only rotate it, basically. Leave me alone! So, these controls are definitely going to take some getting used to. This game is now over 20 years old. Alright, there we go. Gotcha! I don't like that you have a bird head for a crotch. Not bad. I'd expect no less from the leader of the Bond family. But not quite good enough. Poor K. Oh, cutscene. You know what that Ultimate means. Glide laser. 
so it's a cutscene, I can't control anything, that means that bad things are going to happen. And I can't do anything to stop it. Miss Tron, we've lost contact with the Gustav. I wonder if Teasel's all right. He said he'd run into some trouble. It's no use standing around here worrying. I'm gonna go to their last known position and make sure everything's okay. Block D, can you hear me? We're heading out in a drop to look for the Gustav. The rest of you, wait at your normal stations, okay? Roger, yes, ma'am. Yay, we're going on a mission. I love the survival. Good soundtrack. Aww. What happened to Teasel and Bon Bon? Miss Tron, it was so scary. We were so frightened. Calm down. It's all right. It's over now. Can you tell me what happened to Teasel and Bon Bon? They were kidnapped. Oh, <laughs> look at those eyes. Home. They were beaten they were both up. Taken away. Taken away? But by who? Why? No, men. They said if we can't pay back our debt, they'll make us work it off. Debt? Tiso never said anything about debt. He must not have wanted to worry us and so didn't tell us about it. That's just like him. Well, let's get back to the Gessel Shaft. We have to make a plan to rescue them. That's right. Let's go! Roger! Aw, oh, poor little guys. What could be taking them? It shouldn't take this long to find something like that. Huh? Here, here they come. Miss Tron, we found it! We found it! What took you so long? Hurry, give it to me! Yep, this is it. This is Teasel's receipt for the money. What does it say? Read it, Miss Tron. Let's see. Let's see. I owe you. I, Teasel Bond, do hereby state that I owe Loath Inc. the sum of... One million zenny to be paid Oof. back in full. Huh? Whoa! One million zenny? What was Teasel doing with so much money? Wait a minute. The date on this IOU, it's from around the time we were building the Gessel Shaft. Teasel said not to worry about money. He said we had plenty, and then he went out and bought everything. Miss Tron? Should we make dinner for Master Teasel and Master Bonbon bon tonight? No, not tonight. But keep their places ready. They'll be back. I'm gonna pay this IOU and bring Teasel and Bonbon bon back. Yes, ma'am! So here's the... that's the gist of the game. Here we are. So what we're what we're doing is uh, trying to make enough money to rescue Bon and Teasel. So this is a prequel to Mega Man Legends One, even though it came out after it. And basically, what you do is you go on missions to get money. And we want to get one million zenny in order to pay back the debt that Teasel owes. You can go around the ship and talk to all the different serve bots. More rooms open up as the game goes on, and you can talk to everyone. Number one, you're the oldest, so you have to keep your eye on everyone. Understand? Yes, Miss Tron. I kept a diary explaining how to do everything. Really? Let me see. Wow, this is great. You've done a good job. Thank you, Miss Tron. You can keep it and use it if you want. Alright, thank you. 
No, Miss Tron, the pleasure's mine. So, the serve bots will give you hints, they'll tell you things about, um, gameplay, they'll give you items. I heard that Master Teasel borrowed a million zenny. I promise we'll work hard and help as much as I can, so we can get the money paid back to that loath fellow and get Master Teasel back. There's 40 serve bots in all, eventually we'll talk to all of them, but they all have different stats and personality traits and perks. Um, to a limited degree. I mean, it's an old game, but... Miss Tron, if you want to save the game, you can do it here. It's probably a good idea to save every once in a while, don't you think? Miss Tron, what are you going to do with the Gessel Shaft now that it's finished? Let me tell you. Alright, I'll tell you. You'll be the first to know. Yay! The Gessel Shaft is equipped with everything we need to get ready for missions. For example, it can be used to develop new Gustav parts. Most importantly, it can be used to train you serve bots. If you train, you can take a more active part in missions, develop special skills, and learn how to do all sorts of things. Still, all 40 of you don't have to train, you can train individually. Serve bots with combat skills can train and help with missions, or the serve bots with science skills can train to improve the Gustav. Some serve bots have, well, let's say unique skills. The only way to learn about them is to talk to every serve bot and get to know them. It's also important to inspect the ship regularly by talking with the serve bots frequently. You can learn what they're up to in each room and find out all sorts of things. Talking to all the serve bots will help you when you don't know what to do next. Got it? Got it! Number 11. How are things going? Leave the flying of the Gessel shaft to me, Miss Tron. Of course, since we have an autopilot, I really don't have much to do. Do you know that by pressing the circle button you can see an explanation of commands and that if you press it when the cursor is on one of us, the command menu opens? Okay. <coughs> Data. So you can see all their stats. Attack, speed, brains, and fault. Attack and speed have to do with combat, how handy they are in missions. Sloth means they're getting lazy and won't do what you want, and Brains is, uh, research. But it's cool. You can name all of them, which I don't plan on doing. Yeah, I knew that. And let's talk to this guy. Miss Tron, you should send some of us out to scout sometimes. Did you know that there are items you can only get by having a scout? Alright. So I've talked to all the ones here. You can see... There's a lot of different areas you can go to. And there should be serve bots in all of them. She's got a different outfit in here. Miss Tron, I'm working on making a weapon with a high rate of fire, a Gatling gun. Leave it to me, I'll give you the best Gatling gun ever. Miss Tron, I'm working on making a new powerful weapon, the Bomb Bazooka. I'll try to finish it as soon as I can. Hmm. You look like you're worried about something, number 34. Well, Miss Tron, I'm trying to think of ways to improve the Gustav's armor. Do you think you could take me on a mission with you sometime? Hmm, that might not be a bad idea. After all, servbots who find items on missions do get smarter. Sounds like just what I need. Hmm. What is it, number 30? Well, Miss Tron, I'm working on a way to increase the Gustav's energy can't seem to come up with any good ideas. I think I should start with improving the energy tanks. A Mega Man standard, the E-Tank, what do you say? That sounds like a good idea. It will probably cost a lot of money. So that's the other thing. We're trying to collect a million zenny to pay off the debt, but we also want to spend money to improve our ship and our robot to stuff. Don't want to brag, but did you know I can make e-models, Miss Tron? That's because I've got a special skill. I know, but you're not that special. You can only make small models. I know. Miss Tron, I figured out how to develop new parts. Do you want to hear how? Okay. Alright, I'll tell you. To develop new parts, you need to get the servant in charge of that part to realize a special skill, and you'll need lots of zenny. 
sometimes the server bot won't be working, even if he has a special skill already. That means you have to give him a certain item and give it to him to give him inspiration. Or also on blah blah blah. Okay. It's not that important. Also, that's number two. Let's check out uh, storage. I think there will only be like one guy in here if I remember correctly. Three. Okay. I may not be able to appraise things like number 14 can right now, but someday I will. I'm going to work and study real hard. That way I can help you even more, Miss Tron. Number four, what are you doing? This isn't your assigned area. Hey, Miss Tron! I was trying to get to the cafeteria and I got lost. <sighs> the cafeteria isn't this way, it's over there. Thank you. He's still here, though. Miss Tron, if you don't... If you find any items you don't know what to do with, bring them here. We'll appraise them for you. We can tell you what they do and how much they're worth. So some stuff you find you can just sell to get money. Other stuff is more important. I'm going to go to one more place and then I'll call this video. Let's go to the gym. Here we can train our serve bots, I believe. I'll do a, a little training game. Do we all have the same abilities? No! Some are faster, stronger, and smarter. Oops. Skip, 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 skip. Miss Tron, are you happy with our abilities as they are? No! I thought so. That's why I've developed a training program to raise our attack ratings. Everyone can use it to get stronger. And I've made up what I call the Super Servbot Power Up Plan. This month's goal is to train servbots numbers 1 through 8. I've also found something interesting. Alright. Yeah, I know. Okay, I got it. Yeah, thank you. Some servbots are better at attack and blah blah blah. There is a program to increase speed. Alright, check this out. Let's train. I'll serve about one. It's fine. I don't remember how this works. This is training room number one. <laughs> he wants to hear the rules. Oops. All right then, get ready to start training. All right, that's clearly not what I'm supposed to do. So I guess I dodge them. They roll back. I pick it up and. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so I do this. I get this bazooka. Boom. Get the bazooka and do that. I want to try and get the two first. Boy, that runs out fast. So you can jump and you'll hit the ones in the back. I don't know what Curry does. Ah, this is okay. So clearly, I don't remember what I'm doing. Ooh, this is good gameplay. I just wanted to kind of show it off. So I wanted to hit 30. That would improve his um, attack. But yeah, I'm gonna stop here. Next time. I'm going to talk to the rest of the serve boss and I'll go on a mission. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't seen this game before, I hope you stick around to watch it. It's it's great. It's one of the best PlayStation 1 games. Super underrated and I think that's because it's so rare. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff and uh, I'll see you next time. Check out my podcast. The Role Less Taken. Search for The Role Less Taken, R-O-L-E, wherever you find podcasts and you'll find it. Be calm, be cool, be safe, be smart, be kind, and wash your hands. Alright? See you next time. Bye-bye.